So, today I want to talk about some of the details in this card. Yeah. Okay. So, I created this project and I've got the background and I was rather undecided as how exactly to do the topper. Um, so that it's not stuck down. <laughs> There's this version uh, using a, a layering die set that I, I happen to have. Um, and with a forward sentiment. But I thought the rest of this card is die cut rather than foiled. So this is, this is cut from gold card. Um, so I wanted to create a card that didn't need foiling on it, which is quite unusual for me because most of my makes these days include some foiling. So I got to thinking about what I wanted to do. So I've got this version that uses uh, the frame from the Framed Owl die set from the Ulala collection. That's another Kachu Creations die set. Um, and a die cut sentiment, okay, just a die that I had. So there's that version. And then I thought, well, okay, so people might prefer to stamp their sentiments. So this one's done with gold embossing powder. So again, this is a stamp I happen to have, and I've just die cut some plain ovals, and I could use it in that size, just mat it onto the gold, or I could make a backing piece. Now to save some, some of the, the lovely designer paper, what I've done is I've cut a large oval, and then I've die cut the smaller oval, and then... Um, Put a piece of black card on the back uh, just to give it some extra, some extra support uh, and then that can go like that and then of course that could then be raised up on foam pads because it's got something solid to sit on um, or the version with the frame can have that as a backing piece so that it would stand out on here Or, if you want to, you can still follow the sentiment and use it in that version with a pretty frame. Or with that version. Or with that version. So, lots of options. There's plenty of space for the topper, right in the middle of the card there. So... There's some flexibility about which way to go with that. Still using these lovely dies. So this is done using the um, the corner die from the Le Petit Chardin collection, um, and it, it it cuts beautifully. It is in white, so it's it's a beautiful die. And my thought was to create something perhaps a little more masculine, a little more sophisticated some of the other projects I've done um, and you know what sentiment you would put on this I had thoughts of doing it as an anniversary card um, perhaps as a, a, a slightly something non-traditional wedding card um, all sorts of things so I ended up with love so and then from love with love from me to you were just the ones that, that I came up with. As I say, I was quite undecided. And let's take those out of the way. I'm going to take this off because it's going to fall off because I've not stuck a sentiment down. And then these embellishments here and here are done using the, the mini doily die. And then I, I just trimmed them um, along the edges to create at the corner. And then but the other thing I wanted to talk about was how to make sure that this diagonal strip is cut exactly right and flush with these edges so you don't get a step coming into your, your background. So let me just explain that. So I have here, if I haven't buried them. So I've used this paper, which is 
frame one on, on the back to go across the middle and then I've used this paper as the main backing and that's that one on the other side okay and these are from the, the Petite Jardin 12 by 12 pad and these are beautiful so much to choose from and, and yes really it's like oh you know where to start it's like a gorgeous paper pad so with this card I was going for as I say for something maybe masculine sophisticated so this is what I decided on so to create the the background you, you cut this to size this isn't quite cut to size it needs to be trimmed slightly so it can be matted onto some gold card and then I used a nine centimeter strip of the other and basically I need my die cut and I buried it there we are take the die cut so basically what I did and I, there's photos of this in the blog post but I've, I've placed my die my my die cut where it will go in the corner okay and I've lined up my paper in fact I cut two of them so I didn't have to keep moving it around so I can decide exactly I'm going to want this, get that into position, and then take a couple of pieces of low tack masking tape. Okay, so two pieces. And when you're you're happy with where it's going to go, and I think it probably wants to come about there, tape it down on both sides. Okay, and I can pick this up at this stage, move it back over there, and just. Check that I'm happy with, happy with the position. But you do want this back piece cut to size first. Okay? And you need to leave the strip the full length of the 12, 12 inch pad to start with. Okay? So you're going to put this down. And then you're going to turn this over and trim not right up to the edge, not right up flush, but just away from the edge to get rid of some of the excess. Let's just do that. I'm going to come in maybe a quarter of an inch, less than a centimetre, and trim so that it's still overhanging but not by a lot. Okay, I'll leave the other end. And then what that allows me to do is leave one piece of tape down and I can then carefully peel this back and hinge, use that as a hinge and then I can put my glue or double-sided tape onto this side and just fold it back, stick it down and then trim it to the correct size, turn it over again and then use my scissors and then go flush to the backing paper and that way I'll get a perfect edge. So there we are. So that was my things I wanted to explain with this card. I'll say it hasn't got a topper because I was so undecided which way to go. So one option. Two options. Three options and a fourth yeah so that's what I did and the only other reason for having the piece of black card is when I you could use the gold frame just on there like that but if you want it to stand out even more I wanted to put the purple behind it but then if I wasn't care very very careful with my positioning I got white showing through the edges so that the black card 
just as that backing oval uh, just hides the fact that I've taken the middle out of that. Okay, thank you for watching.